Hey there guys, we're back like I said, um, we're going to start doing these videos every Friday um, between 7 and 8. So tonight is a question and answer video and every other, all the rest of the Fridays are um, just uh, more of a showing what's going to go on and, and stuff like that. And if you have questions, you can write them down write them in the comment section and then I will answer them after the video is done. So I guess while I'm waiting for people to show up, I'll go ahead and carve a little bit.
Your mom. So, for those of you who are watching, this is a Q and A um, question and answer video. Um, we won't be really doing too much with ducks today. Just uh, the last Friday or last Friday of the month is going to be a Q and A. So not really carving or painting anything. The other two or three Fridays of the month will be um, more geared towards either paint demos or um, carving demos. Like um, next Friday will actually probably be um, carving out canvas back heads. Um, so tonight is just strictly um, question and answer. So be sure to share the video. Um, that way we can get more people watching and uh, more questions that are out there. Because I know a lot of people don't know what decoys are and or would like to know what they are and how they're used and stuff like that. Or even any questions on how, how we carve them and stuff. This is uh, this Q and A is going to be a uh, one hour long video. All the videos on Fridays are going to be one hour long. Um, if you'd like to um, watch, um, just like I said, share it and see who um, try to get it out there more and more. Um, weekend probably working in a shop getting a few things done especially tomorrow um i know saturday I, I won't i mean sorry correction sunday i won't be around so No problem. Um, it will probably still be on by the time that you get home. Do a little bit of carving while I'm waiting for more people. 
you have any questions, please feel free to ask, share this video, that way we get more people watching. Hey Jamie. Mr. Perry, how are you, sir? Um, right now I just got some mallard heads that I'm um, carving out just until people start asking more questions. Um, and then I'll put them down and answer questions. You might as well carve a couple out while I'm, while I'm waiting. Be sure to, um, I'm going to say this periodically. Um, so excuse me if I'm repeating myself, but uh, go ahead share this video um, That way we get more people watching Feel free to ask any questions This is a question and answer video from from 7 to 8 and every Friday will be like a 7 to 8 um, unless otherwise um, but for the most part I should should be here to do the videos um, like I said in um, the uh, description that I sent out a while um, probably a couple hours ago um, every Friday we're going to do a video or stay on that and then they, um, every, the last Friday of the month is going to be a Q&A video like today because today we're starting it at the end of the month so we might as well start it the way it should be. Um, anything else is going to be um, either carving heads, um, anything um, from carving, uh, painting, puttying, stuff like that. Um, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, we'll, we'll be doing this until 8 o'clock tonight. Thanks, Mr. Perry. Um, just to give you guys a brief heads up majority of the stuff that we'll be doing is getting ready for a show in um, Virginia that we got invited to um, it's a three-day event just like the Howard Grace Decoy Festival uh, it's a Friday Saturday Sunday um, and we'll be down there all three days of course um, so we got a lot to get done there's there's tons of mallard heads over here that actually still have to be carved out um, the faces have already been pulled off on them and the backs have been rounded already um, and periodically I, I pick them up and then and car clean the throats out a little bit more and then shape the bill up a little bit just to get them ready for the next step um, we are actually in the process of building a small little um, belt sander that, will sit, that I can pull off from underneath the, our paint table where, which is where we're sitting right now, and um, you can sit there and take the take the sander out, put it up here, and just sand the heads a little bit. Um, that way, I don't have to take them all the way downstairs and out to the shop and sand them and take up room on out there. Um, so we have we have a lot that's going to be done over the next few months, especially in these videos. Um, feel free on the other videos, the other Friday videos. 
Um, if you have questions, write them in the comments, and then once the video is done, I will answer those questions. Um, that's just how it's going to be, um, just because it makes it easier. Sorry, I didn't want the cat over there having fun. Um, but we will have, um, I know next one will, will be on canvas backheads. Um, I'll, I'll make a little uh, rig up so you can see the different stages of the canvas backhead. Um, just so it gives you a little bit more of a picture from, instead of just seeing basically all this, you see the different stages of the, um, the heads at least. Um, as you can see behind me on the shelves over here, there's, I mean, there's some ducks there. Once these mallards are ready to be headed, um, they'll be over here as well. Um, there'll be probably, I think there, there's a hundred mallards, 50 of those are hens and 50 of those are drakes. So all the, one of the episodes will be, um, nothing but just painting the drakes right here. And then, um, the other ones, the, the hens will be, um, something I'll do, uh, later on. Uh, something you guys probably won't see at all. Um, I'll probably do, paint the drakes here on, on the video. That way you guys can see, um, how the drakes are painted and the hens are basically painted the same way, just different colors. Um, just so you can, guys can kind of see what my paint table looks like. Um, you can see there's a shelf there with the cat on it. And then this is where the duck will sit as I paint. Um, I have tons of brushes that are right over here. You guys can't see um, that we use. We probably have a good good amount of paint brushes. Um, and you can see all the duck heads that are sitting here. Um, so right now, since there's nothing being painted, um, I can't really remove this. Um, the way I built it, it stays there um, and it comes out from the table. Um, that way I can move around and get to the shelf easier without knocking anything over. Feel free to keep sharing this video. Um, don't forget to tell your friends about us. Um, to boost our likes on Facebook. Um, we also started something new. We have a YouTube channel. Um, so this video, once it's done, go on that YouTube channel. Um, it's the same thing, just look up Blanchett Decoys in the title and it should pop up with our logo. Um, if it doesn't, get back to us. We can, we can help you through it. So our Friday videos will be on there and then any other little videos that we decide to um, do during a week or something like that via f or my phone or something like that. Like anything that's done in the shop that we don't want to show on here, we'll bring it over. Um, we're going to try to, with, with some of the videos, we need to make sure, like the last one that I posted with the um, sander, um, there's a lot of vibration with the camera on my phone and there's a lot of noise so I'm going to make sure that that's all edited out that way you guys don't hear that but then um, I'll see if I can do a voiceover on it um, I do get a lot of questions every once in a while about um, type of wood that we use, um, type of paints, type of glues, um, type of patterns. Um, majority of the wood that we use is white pine and then the paints that we use are Rust-Oleum and uh, Roan paints. Um, the Roan are expensive and the, the Rust-Oleum you can get anywhere. The Roans you can either get um, at Vincetti's decoy shop in it well they're their sale shop over in Havity Grace where you can order them online it's a little bit more expensive to order them online um, so we'd rather just go down there and get them um, glues we used um, Elmer's Carpenter's Max it's a pretty good glue um, I've never had issues with it um, so 
um, when we do antique style decoys, um, we use what's known as Brie Wax. Um, it's actually it's like a it's a fur I known as a furniture polish. Um, a lot of people. Let's see if I can find my little hook real quick. Um, we use it to age the decoy once it's um it's white or whatever color it is. So it's just like a gel. Um, if you if you ever buy this stuff, I mean it's not, it's not too badly priced, but um, if you use it, it's uh, be sure you're in a well ventilated area. It does stink. Um, we will um start to update more on the Facebook page and everything like that. Um, like we have been, um, we'll be taking photos here and there of what's going on in the shop, um, what to be looking for maybe for the next Friday video and stuff like that. Um, we are going to do one video that is going to be something that I'm even new to, um, just because it's pretty cool. Um, I have a little shorebird here that we are going to um, carve out, finish carving out, and um, figure out what type of shorebird it is and uh, paint it up that will be one whole hopefully one whole hour we can do that if you guys have any questions feel free to ask put a, just put them right in the comment section We're here until 8 o'clock. Yeah, if you haven't already, be sure to head over to the, our page and like it. Um, make sure you share this video, too. So that way we can see, um, one, see if anybody has any questions, and um, two, to hopefully help us boost our, our clientele. We couldn't do this without, without you guys, so... Um, just so you guys know, it would be a little bit of an update. Um, we do have a new sign coming in. Um, thanks to a buddy of ours over at Spencer's Decoys. Um, he, uh, messaged us one day when we were, we had shot something out there about looking for a brand new shop sign. Well, not really a shop sign, one specifically for shows. And, um, he had came back and showed me a couple pictures of what he did and, um, we went went ahead with it so um uh, we'll be sure to show um the finished product once it gets here um good thing is he's not very far um so if we, we we might go and pick it up ourselves um but um he's a great guy 
Um, look by the looks of it, um, I've never seen his decoys in person, but by the looks of his pictures, he does really well on decoys. Also, um, the gentleman that's on here that's been watching periodically, Mr. Mr. Uh, Perry Reynolds, he's a, a great little decoy carver, um, good buddy. Um, I love his little minis that he makes self writing. Um, I got a lot of friends on here that I can tell you um, that are very good decoy carvers. They're, they're very good friends of mine. Um, so if you guys have any questions about myself or as as a decoy maker or any of these guys, um, just let me know and I can always try to get those questions over to them and, and get them back to you. So um, just to give you a little bit of a view of what it is up here, besides just showing you what the, the paint table is right here, um, we have this uh, eight foot long table um, that is custom built. I built it here in down, well, down in the shop, and it has, like I said, it has the paint pull out, well, offset that sits here where we paint the decoys, um, and it's got an extra, sh a couple shelves underneath, and um, our paints that up here, our, our paint brushes. We have one big shelf shelving unit for our smaller ones, which we actually we got to probably rebuild. And then we have, um, we'll have in the back over here, um, it's downstairs right now, um, a shelf for full size decoys that they can sit on. Um, basically, these ones here, um, it, and it's a little hard to see, but they're little um, pieces that stick up out of the um, on the board itself to sit there and raise it up so that way that the whole bottom of the decoy if it's got paint on it you don't just set it down and get stuck and then when you go to pull it off it rips some of that paint off and stuff like that but they're little pieces um, like this just a little quarter round and um, they sit just like this on the um, shelf over there So we have a little over a half an hour left with this video. Um, so far it seems like it's doing really good. Um, next week, next Friday, we'll have a, um, a video on just our uh, decoys. Um, probably carving some of them. Um, like I said, probably going to be canvas backs because we have about 100 and 150 canvas back heads to carve out and stuff like that. Um, so we might do a small little video during the week of us in the shop um, carving out the canvas back heads. Um, I'll go ahead and pull that pattern out so at least you guys can see what it looks like. Um, and then during that Friday, um, we'll do we'll, we'll pull some of the faces off of them and um, get some of them ready for uh, just going ahead and, and uh, doing what we're doing with these just throwing them out cleaning the throat out setting the bill um, so there's a little camp back head um, don't really have I don't think I have a pair here um, I don't think oh, I do actually correction shop mascot so here's a um, a little high on the top of the head but this is a one of the canvas back heads um that i had i'm just laying around i think i, I may have some i have a couple here i'm not going to use these ones um but there is a canvas back head um i kind of kind of made these a little high heads um just because they sit up a little bit higher than your normal duck so to speak um but i'll have a bunch of them um, like I said, 150 of those heads. Um, for the way we're going to do it is, some of, majority of them are going to be new style. They're going to have the feathers on them and everything like that. The uh, the rest of them are going to have, um, excuse me, the rest of them are going to have the old style. So, with that being said, there's 75 each. So 75 drakes, 75 hens. Um, we're gonna go through and figure out how many we want to do new style, how many we want to do old style. 
I like to keep that out. Um, the cool part is um, the, the the head the body pattern that we use. Um, this is this is the top view. Um, when it sits down, we trace it out. You can kind of see the pencil marks all over the place. Um, so this is the top view. Excuse me. Didn't mean to kind of throw that. Let me see. So top view. Okay. And then we have our side view. Yeah, I had it right. Um, our side view, it's a little off, but that's from sanding and, and, and making sure it's nice and smooth. This one here, um, we can actually get a couple different types of duck bodies out of. Um, so we can actually get um, canvas backs, mallards, um, black ducks. Um, and then we can get golden eyes, buffle heads, and a few of the other things out of this one pattern. Um, it makes it ten times easier uh, when it comes to carving. The only difference is, is when we go to loons or pintails. Um, so we keep the same pattern. Uh, correction, in coots. This is the pintail or old squall because we'll have the tail going up. And then our loons um, sit like this. Of course, like uh, one of these bodies here. There's a loon body, um, and then to do a coot, to do a coot, um, we we shorten the tail just a little bit and bring it in. Well, of course, bring it in and sand it up. So you can see. I keep doing this. You can see the difference between a loon body and a coot body just by the difference in the tail. I mean everything else is the same. Um, body body shape is still the same but the the pattern itself just differs just a, just a little bit. Get these patterns back in here before I lose them. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. That's what this episode is for. So we we might do a couple of these. Don't know yet. Um, we did these as like Christmas ornaments a little while ago. I think this one was last year's. Um, we made a little mallard Christmas ornament. We realized that it doesn't hang right. Um, we might have to move the the hook forward just a little bit. Um, it does a little mallard. It is double double sided. Um, that way, there's no. It doesn't look different on either side. Um, but we got a couple of those here. Um, one of them is actually the pattern, so I should actually take that pattern out. Um, so I don't accidentally make it into a ornament. There we go. Two of them are. Correction. For the most part, all our all our patterns kind of stay in, stay in one area that way you don't lose them, especially these guys because they're so small. Um, just to start out and, and give myself a little bit of um, give you guys some knowledge on, on myself. Um, been carving decoys for quite a while. Um, I learned from a gentleman gentleman by the name of Captain Harry Jobs. Um, I started out making miniature swans like this. Um, my first one is actually sitting downstairs in my living room. Um, from there, uh, I started 
widening my range on, on decoys. Uh, one of the things that I've started getting into that uh, I, I noticed not that many people were doing were these little ones called micro. I, I call them micros. Um, thanks to my other half, she she helped me kind of come up with the name. Um, but these little micros. I carve out their two pieces just like a full size duck and um, I mean as you can see from my hand standpoint I know the camera's probably making it just a little bit bigger um, but that's a quarter size or sorry micro duck so it fits in the palm of your hand um, and then from there I started doing more swans and then um, a buddy of ours um, had um we were we were one we were trying to do something special and we ended up coming up with the patterns for these quarter size decoys um i don't really have an exact measurement on these little quarter size decoys um off the top of my head though i'm probably gonna say like any maybe five inches uh long maybe about two inches wide and probably stand about two inches, two to three inches tall, um, depending on the type, of course. Um, but we we started. We're doing these more and more and more and more because they just one, they're they're actually really easy to turn out, and two, we've noticed that a lot of people buy them because people have, especially these little micros, people have full size decoys sitting on shelves or or mantles, and these fit perfectly in between them uh, especially if they're like facing towards each other or, or diagonal from each other or I mean sorry diagonal alongside each other these little guys can fit right in that center where that portion sitting and not really mess up anything and it, add, it adds to it unless you don't like clutter and then they, they make a completely different shelf for it um I do do full size um, it just takes me a little bit longer because I don't have the capability um, and by capability I mean I don't have draw knives um, to do like full size heads um, right now all I use is my knife like I just I just constantly chip a little bit away um, that's it and then when it comes to full size bodies um, if I'm if I'm doing them old style then I use an, a carpenter's axe and and go ahead and chop the body um, up to at least a rough shape of what I needed to and then I'll sand it on my drum sander um, to get it closer to the shape and then fine sand it and head it up um, like for this redhead um, pen I already have um, I have another body made up for it and this, once this is done being carved and it's all nice sanded rounded how it's supposed to look this will get headed and then it will get a weight on it and stuff like that. Hey Scott. Um, now with like the shorebirds, um, this would actually be my first shorebird. So that's why I said it would be a new thing for both of us, especially when we go to do it on one of the one of the Fridays. Um, it would be pretty cool to, to learn to see how. I've done morning doves, um, which were actually pretty cool. Um, I wish I could get my hand on that pattern again to do some because um, they're they're well worth it i loved it they were easy um but we'll see how this goes and if it goes pretty good then i might make turn this into make this a pattern well a uh, start out for a pattern and, and trace this onto something and then get it out there so i can make more of these little uh, i think these are probably little sandpipers um so if it is a little sandpiper that'd be awesome because um, I know a lot of people do buy, every once in a while do buy um, shorebirds. Um, I do not do um, herons or egrets yet. I'd like to. They seem pretty cool. Seem pretty, pretty. Um, the way that I've seen people make them, they look pretty cool. Um, but we have the only ones, only weird ones we haven't done. Or we haven't done a mandarin duck. We haven't done. We, ha we don't do that much overseas stuff. So, like, the Mandarin duck is, I mean, it's, it's the United States, but it's, it's in Hawaii. I've, I've never seen one in person. I've seen decoys of them, and they look beautiful, but I, I don't think we'd have the capability to kind of do something like that. I mean, it'd be something to do on one of our one of our shows. 
um, it'd probably take an hour just trying to come up with a body and, and, and the little fins that come out the back and the head and everything like that. Um, when it comes to like eiders, scooters, um, they're a little bit bigger. Um, I mean, they stand, they're probably about like this big. Um, so, I mean, that, that'd be something that we could do one, one show too. Um, th this, this is going to continue for ever, like I said, every Friday. Um, and the, the last Friday of the month is going to be a Q and A session. It can be questions on decoys. It can be questions on stuff, questions that you forgot to ask during the last Friday episode. It, it doesn't matter however you feel or whatever you feel you want to ask, ask it. Um, there's going to be tons of videos towards carving heads, the different types of heads, um, cause it, just because it, it seems like the same, all uh, to, to a lot of people it seems like the same over and over and over again, but to carve a mallard is different than carving a pair of hooded megansers, or to carve a goose is completely different than carving a swan. So th there's, there's different aspects on when you are carving these that it, it makes a big difference. Um, I mean, like, for, for you got this coot here, okay, who's got, like, the bill comes up and around, and you have the ring neck that's got a V-bill on the top, and they're, I mean, you can see they're two different, completely different head types, and there's more I got to do carving-wise on this than I do on this. So, and granted, these are a little bit smaller, but you don't really see that. I mean, to here, this looks, I mean, like a decent size, but to me, holding it in my hand, it seems it's, it is a little bit smaller than what's nor normally like these guys. Um, and then when we go to sand, um, I'll probably put some music on. Um, that way you don't get that, that scratchiness of the sandpaper. Um, we use, we, we love this stuff. Uh, excuse me. I love this stuff. It's made by 3M. It's flexible. Um, I mean, you can crump it up and then crimp it up, and then it, it just folds back out. It's really nice. Um, when we go to do um, like into the necks, the sand, um, either we can we'll take this and we can roll it up and sand in the side, or we will take a pencil and hot glue a piece of that on there. And then go around and sand it. We, we, we come up sometimes. Some of the tools that we come, that I've come up with are on the fly. Like my my for dotting eyes, um, I use this portion to dot the eyes. You can see how it's yellow, and this side it's black because that's that's the how we put the pupil in to the eyes for the most part. Uh, when it comes to bigger decoys, we got a different one. Um, this is actually my one for full size. You can see it looks like a straw on one side and the other side. I actually got to flatten it's just a little bit more. But um, you can see that's how we do full size. So full size, I mean, it's the same aspect. You just sit there and you'd have it like this. You do one side and you can either hold it like straight at you and, and try to do it yourself or you kind of go like this and you kind of look over and you just back and forth, back and forth until you get it right. Does every once in a while you get one eye, you know, down a little bit yeah because i mean no nobody's perfect not not every duck's perfect so um and that's something that we're used to um we do have different techniques in the way we paint things um you'll see that i got a couple wood ducks that i have to do um a, a wood duck will take a full hour um to paint um just because there's so many times of painting one color putting it up on shelf letting it dry, come back, paint another color, putting it back on the shelf. It's just, it's back and forth like that for quite a while. And that they, they're they beautiful when they're done, but they're painting pain in the butt to paint. Um, but they're well worth it, trust me. Um, unlike the mallards. The mallards, I can get tons of them turned out in a matter of no time. Um, especially uh, once these guys get headed and, and, and they get their first two coats of primer, um, and of course, in between that primer, I, you might be able to see some of them back here. Um, like these guys right here, they have um, uh, putty on the first coat of primer. Well, after the first coat of primer, excuse me. And um, that gets sanded off, and then the second coat of primer gets on there, so they're nice and smooth. Um, from there, then they go into the painting stages. Um, 
and I'll, we'll, like I said, one of the episodes will strictly be painting the 50 Mallard Drakes, um, and then I'll answer questions at the end. Um, that and that will be that's that's how the other Fridays will go. There will just be a you know just a demo, and then after will be the question answering um, once the hour's up. Um, so we've got about 15 minutes left here. If anybody has questions, go ahead. Feel free to ask. No questions, you know, stupid or dumb. Um, there, any questions, great. Also, for anybody, if anybody new is watching, if you haven't yet, um, head over to our, to our page and like it. Um, the more support you guys show, the, the more we can do. Um, that's how it will be from here. From well, that's always. Um, the more we can, more videos we can do, more more videos we can post to our YouTube channel and stuff like that. So, um, if you're just joining, um, we have now three areas of social media that we do we have our facebook which is here and i want to thank everybody on here that's liked our page and and these videos and continue to follow us we have an instagram um it's just blanchet decoys um on instagram and then we have i, I th believe the the instagram one is all one word <laughs> excuse me and then we have um our youtube channel um, our YouTube channel is also Blanchet Decoys. Um, there's only one video up there now, but this will be uploaded, and then we will have another one um, next Friday. All our Friday ones will be uploaded to there, um, and then any little videos we do here and there will be uploaded on there as well for here. Um, there... trying to think of what um, um if you have any issues with those trying to find us on Instagram or, or I know you guys aren't having issues with Facebook but if you have issues trying to find us on Instagram or um, YouTube just let us know shoot us a message we'll try to help you through it the best we can um, we will also try to do um, the sander that we're building um, we'll also see if we can put that to the YouTube channel um, I guess uh, earlier I was um, saying uh, I'm building a small little um, belt sander that will sit here um, that's removable and go onto the ta the paint table here that I can sit there and, and, and sand these little guys up that way I don't have to take them all 100 heads out of the shop. If I'm carving them here I should be able to sand them here um, just to make it easier and then the bodies will already be in here. Um, they're not in here right now they're all out in the shop. Um, they're all sanded. It's just they gotta they gotta find their way up here. <laughs> um, also, um, I know this is probably a, a, a hit in the dark, um, but a good friend of mine, um, it actually last night when I, we were talking, um, he helped me a little bit see more and towards how to advertise this and how to further myself with these videos and stuff like that um, he also has a page um, I believe it's called um, Michael J solar dog talk um, great guy um, he uh, also has a show that he runs on uh, 105.7 the fan um, for anybody anybody up here in the, in the Baltimore area um, every Sundays from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. 8 a.m. yeah and um, great guy um, if you have a dog or looking into getting a dog I trust him with his um, his, his expertise towards the, that um, um, what's the word I'm looking for um, 
well, just expertise towards towards that area. Um, he also has a dog training um, business that he runs as well. Um, but go ahead, check him out too. He's awesome. Um, we're actually going to be making two swans for him, um, just so I can show you guys. One will have the, his dog talk logo on it, and then the other one. Um, these will both be custom swans. The other one will have his blue line canine logo on it as well. Um, those will be. Those will also be videos that we'll do here. We'll also have still photos that will go up. Um, that will be a video in itself um, that I will not probably do on a live feed. Um, it will be more of a um, on the own because it's going to take concentration, especially especially some of these um, lines and stuff like that because they're, they're going to be hand painted um, without a doubt. There's no, I, I wouldn't cheat anybody on something like that and, and basically have a sticker printed out and just slap it on right now. If I'm going to say it's a custom swan, it's a custom swan, I'm going to paint custom, that custom picture on there. Um, to give you a hint on the size swan that's going on. Oh. There will be two of these um, in that logo. I may actually have to figure out, but basically this logo will sit just like that. Over top of that swan. Um, another thing is too, um, we may make um, one with. Um, we we may start doing a couple of these wrapped in the Maryland flag or the American flag. Um, I've done a couple American swans. They turned out pretty good. Um, and then um, the Maryland flag ones, we just have to, I have to figure out how to split that because it'd be the whole swan, of course. Um, but I think it would turn out pretty cool. I've seen people doing with mallards and stuff like that, but um, I think it'd be pretty cool with a swan. Um, if anybody would like to order anything, just message us on our Facebook or email us at G, uh, Blanche at decoys at gmail .com. Um, That way, it's it's in our records and we can we can print them out as well. Um, we can do anything if it's something custom. Let us know what you want. We'll also we'll we'll have a bunch of questions that will be um, towards your your decoy that you want and how, how you want it custom. Um, if we think it's impossible, we're going to be honest with you and tell you it's impossible. Um, if it's not, it's not we'll, we'll also say that it's not. Um, if uh, we have, if we come along any issues during the process of your decoy, we will automatically contact you and let you know, hey, it's going to take a little bit longer. Um, and this is the reason why. Um, we're not going to sit there and, and hold it forever. Um, we um, right now we only kind of do the custom swans, um, which is no biggie. But if somebody wanted a custom mallard painted like the American flag, I'll go ahead and do it. It's no problem. Um, you just gotta let us know what you want. Um, like right now though, um, if you were to order anything, I'm going to be honest, you're not going to see it until probably after August um, due to the fact that we, majority of the stuff that we're doing right now is towards a big show that we've never done before and we're um, we are like ecstatic about because we want, we want to do the show. Um, we're looking forward to do the show and we've heard that it's Virginia's largest show. Um, so hopefully... Um, um, we can figure out how to scoot your decoy in there as well while we're doing these to kind of um, at least help the process a little bit quicker and then if it's custom then boom but if it's like you want a mallard that's no problem I can go out there cut a pair of mallards and have them here that way once they're done I can set them off the side and just let you know What's that, Scott? What would you uh, would you think that you want on your swan?
That'd be possible. That's not difficult at all. Of course it'd be hand painted. Well, summing up for the last three minutes, so I'll go ahead and finish with this. Um, if you haven't already, head over to our page, or all three of our pages, our, our Facebook, or Instagram, or YouTube. YouTube, subscribe if you want to see, if you want to get updates and newer videos. Um, and in our Facebook and our Instagram, hit it, to follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, um, and you can follow us on Facebook as well. Um, be sure to head back with us every Friday when we do these videos um, just to explain on those videos again um, these Friday these videos will be every Friday the last Friday of the month will be a Q&A like today um, and all the rest of them will be um, discussing the process on how we carve the decoys and also how we paint the decoys um, these videos if you've missed them um, or weren't able to see it today, you'll be able to see it again on our Facebook page and then we will be able to upload it to um, YouTube so that way you can see it on YouTube as well. Um, and also little tidbit videos here and there. We, we may do videos that, um, that lead up to what that Friday is going to be so keep an eye out there. Um, also help us by um, liking with, with you liking our pages Hopefully you can share our pages and, and get more people and your friends, family to come over, look at our, our, our quality of our stuff and, and, and like our page as well. Because um, we look forward to, to widening our range. Um, I know we have almost 200 likes now. Um, I'd like to see it hit 200 and I'd like to see it keep going. Um, but that's only, I mean, that, that's all my part. I gotta keep doing these videos showing you guys how this this fine art of decoy making is slowly dying um, just because nobody nobody wants to learn how to do them anymore um, a lot of people think this is tedious and it is but once it's done and once you see the end work it's, it's, it's worth it um, so if anybody would also like to stop by the shop the both the paint or the workshop email us or uh, you can uh, message us on Facebook to make sure we're here and you can come up here and um, sit with us as we talk um, even if you uh, I wouldn't even be opposed to having someone up here on a, uh, a Friday you know um, getting someone in here who doesn't know what their doesn't know what decoys are or wants to learn more about decoys and has questions to ask this would be the time to do it, especially because that's all we'll be doing on these Fridays. Um, if anybody would like, um, like a small, I guess, really like an advertisement on here, um, just let us know. Um, we might be able to bring you in, um, and um, for for being on the show, we'll give you a little gift. Um, if that sounds pretty cool. Um, that being said, we're gonna sign off. Have a good, safe weekend. Enjoy the rest of the week, and we'll see you guys next Friday. And like always, we're here, and we're going to continue a tradition.